Hi everyone, it's me Brittany. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and it will be about the do's and don'ts of writing a personal statement for dental school. So if you are interested in applying this cycle, you should probably know that it opens in June 1st and it's the beginning of May right now so you have about less than a month before the cycle opens and one of the things that a lot of people kind of worry about is a personal statement. and. What it's there for is so that you can express why you want to go into dentistry and how you've prepared for it in 4,500 characters or less. So it's limited space to express why you want to do all that. So let's get started with the tips. I'm going to start with the don'ts. First of all, don't just say you want to help people. There are a lot of ways that you can help people. If you were a teacher, you could help by, you know, shaping the minds of the young people. If you're a fire firefighter, you can help people from burning houses. There are a lot of different professions that help people, but what is it about dentistry that makes you want to help people? Is it like helping with their confidence? Is it helping with their physical health? Please be specific on that. The second don't is don't just talk about your extracurriculars. That is what the extracurricular and like the volunteering activities page is for. There's like a separate page where you can input all the things that you have done. Don't use the personal statement area to write about these things and repeat unless they are directly like super involved with getting you to be more interested in dentistry or allowing you to be more um, ready to go into the dental field. Another thing is try not to be super cliche. I feel like there are a lot of personal statements out there that begin with um, the time they had orthodontics done and because of that their smile has improved and that's how they want to be a dentist. Well yeah that can be true but try to be more specific and build on it. Yes that could be something that kind of interest and piqued your interest to the dental field, but what else did you do? Now for the do's. So do talk about why you want to go into dentistry. Specifically talk about your shadowing experience. Maybe talk about a certain experience that you witnessed with a patient and how the dentist related to them and how they helped treat their case. Um, name drop procedures to show that you were there, you were taking an active interest in what was going on. Having a specific incident that happened really could shape the like the exposition or the story of your personal statement a lot better. Do talk about what would make you a good dentist, whether it's your hand skills, what you've been preparing, um, whether it's your people skills, whether it's your ability to not give up because this is what I believe is like not the not only the ability to perform well, but the ability to stick to it because at the end of the day, it's all about retention rates in the dental schools. They don't want students to be changing their minds or kind of drop out because the course material is too hard for them. Do you talk about what makes your story special. So if you are applying to the international dental program, um, talk about why you want to study in the United States, why you want to practice in the United States. If you recently came from a career change, talk about why you decided that the first career wasn't for you and how um, you found dentistry more interesting. And if your parent or a relative was is a dentist or hygienist or anybody in the dental field, talk about how they influenced you. Don't talk so much about them per se, but kind of talk about more about how they shaped and piqued your interest about dentistry. The last thing is do ask somebody that you trust, somebody that will give you a valid input to read your personal statement. So a lot of times people kind of show it to their mom, but how, how long has it been since mom has wrote a, like a essay, personal statement, you know, like, She's gonna say that it's great no matter what. Um, ask somebody that has recently, you know, been in school and been writing essays and stuff, um, whether it's a friend or a classmate or a sibling, I think that'd be great. Or um, another thing is you could ask me to read it. Um, so I'm trying out this new thing where if you need help with your personal statement and would like me to help you give some feedback on it, um, I could do it. Uh, but of course with a small fee, 
um, just so that we can both support each other. Add to my credibility, when I was in college, I actually worked at the Student Writing Center where I read a ton of students' essays, papers, personal statements, and helped them with it. So I'm really familiar with the writing process and how to help other students with it. If you're interested in it, please send me an email at contactbrittanywatu at gmail.com. I will help you one-on-one -on -one and it will be more specific help rather than these like generic tips that will kind of guide you through it. And for the pricing, for one edit, it'll be $15, but if you want to do, you know that you want to do two or three edits, two edits will be $25 and three edits will be $35. Yeah, so email me and if you're interested, we can set it up. And if you decide that you are, you don't need my help or, and you're going to ask somebody else, no worries. I am just really happy and excited for all of you guys to take the next step toward your dental career and if you want to know more about the dental school application and how to prepare for it i have a video that i did last year and i'll link it up below and i will see you guys later bye